you know leukemias are rather dangerous and aggressive tumors in that publication we have shown sri lankan patients who were treated with chemotherapy alone lanka hospitals has a well established medical ethics and research committee since then we have treated a lot of blood cancer patients with a very very good success rate you know blood cancers are rather common in this country that can affect children as well as adults uh, we have some government hospitals government institutions where these things can be treated but we never had a good private sector set up to treat these blood cancers so in 2013 Uh, a team of doctors got together especially dr saman yoman who came from uk who initiated this program with our help we we established this blood cancer treatment center at lanka hospitals that was in 2013 and since then we have treated a lot of blood cancer patients with a very very good success rate almost comparable to uh, you know cure rates in other countries if you look at these types of malignancies blood malignancies you know leukemias are rather dangerous and aggressive tumors so there are different types like all and aml acute myeloid leukemias you know depending on the type of the cell which is involved in this cancerous process so aml is the worst i mean it carries the worst outcome without any treatment probably the survival will be either in de- maybe days or weeks so now with the with the establishment of this cancer unit blood cancer unit we we were able to improve their survival and we have achieved so many cures among patients that we have treated very successfully as dr balavardhan mentioned uh, acute myeloid leukemia is a type of blood cancer which is invariably fatal there is no watch and wait it has to be treated rather quickly otherwise patients can die within days or weeks there are different types of treatment depending on the acute myeloid leukemia type and we have recently published in a journal belonging to british society of hematology acute myeloid leukemia patients we treated in lanka hospital in that publication we have shown sri lankan patients who were treated with chemotherapy alone has shown comparable results to what they are shown in western countries or developed countries more than 60% of our patients were alive at the end of the study showing they are potentially curable very similar to what have been shown in western or developed countries further to the facts mentioned by dr jayanta balavardhana and dr saman hevamana Lanka Hospitals has a well established medical ethics and research committee. The committee carefully evaluates the medical researchers proposed and ensures patients anonymity and confidentiality throughout the process. Healthcare researchers add high value to the society. It gives us an important idea about the outcomes of treatment, the trend and the pattern of diseases. as well as an idea about the healthcare costs not only has academic benefits but they are directly associated with improved patient outcomes the clinical governance of lanka hospitals oversees the medical ethics and research components of the hospital the outcomes of the researches conducted by the hematology oncology unit has contributed a lot of value to the hospital to the society and the country there are a lot of evidences these days to say that research active hospitals have better patient outcomes the lanka hospital hematology oncology unit has conducted many researches and publications which has brought a lot of recognition to the hospital the idea of this uh, interview and also our publications is to give a positive hope for the sri lankan community with blood cancers it is a neglected part or it was a neglected part now we try to show if you get treated properly if you get treated early it is very very possible to cure you or keep it under control